No way! You still remember that? I am so flattered that you still remember all these small details about our relationship. I thought it was just me. I thought I was the only one who was cataloging the past, if you will. Committing all these tiny little events to memory just so I can fall in over them later. It's so nice and validating to know that you feel the same way. Well, maybe you don't feel as strongly about it as I do. I mean, that's just my assumption. But it's a very confident assumption. <laughs> but still, I think it speaks volumes about our compatibility that we're both so nostalgic over our little love story. Especially since I was in a relationship with you a lot sooner than you were in a relationship with me, if you catch my drift. <laughs> I know I, well, we, think about our past all the time, but now that we're strolling past all these nostalgic places, it's like we're literally taking a walk down memory lane. All the good memories just come rushing back and they're so much more vivid and stimulating than when you just think about them in passing in bed or eating lunch or something. I wish we could feel like this all the time. Oh, like right here! Oh my god, right here! This tree! I know it's this tree because it's the one that got struck by lightning two times and kind of looks like it has a face. But yeah, this is where we first met. Well, where I met you anyway. You weren't exactly aware of our little meeting, seeing as how I was hiding in the bushes. I mean, I wasn't hiding, hiding. Anyway, my cat had gone missing. I know some people might think, oh, it's just a pet, but she means a lot to me. She was my only real friend until I met you. Well, you're way more than a friend, but you know what I mean. Back to the point, I was so anxious and stressed looking up and down the town for her until, lo and behold... I found you getting her out of the tree. My hero. And obviously, not having had much social experience at the time, I was way too shy to get anywhere near you, hence the bushes. But to be completely honest, I am so glad that I hid there. Because I got to watch you spend hours just trying to gently coax her out of the tree. You were so kind. So patient and compassionate. To my only companion, no less. It's no wonder that was the moment I fell in love with you. <laughs> you probably should have gotten a ladder, though. Just saying. You know, spending so much time on the cat made me think, maybe you just really like them. Cats, I mean. Uh, so, because of that... Mm, this is embarrassing to admit, but that was when I bought the cat costume. <laughs> you know, the ears and tail. Even the little bell. I thought... Maybe he'd be really into them, due to the whole fiasco. I even- Oh god! <laughs> oh god! I even practiced my little nyeh thing you see in anime. Oh. I had your picture. One of many in my collection. I taped it to the wall and I would just look at it and rehearse lines like, Yeah. You're looking perfect today. Would you like a meow full of my cooking? I'm just positive you'll like it. I didn't know I had that many cat puns in me. And <laughs> this hurts to say, but I even practiced the little gesture in front of my mirror. The one where the hands imitate paws. <laughs> God. Oh, when you came to my house to hand over my cat, I had to muster all the courage I had in me to do the thing. I don't know what I was thinking. But you laughed. And it really disarmed the tension of the situation. I was finally talking to you face to face for the first time. I get so flushed thinking back about it now, but it's fine as long as you think it's cute. You do think it's cute, right? You still think it's cute? <laughs> okay, okay, just checking. Good taste, by the way. I mean, of course you think it's cute. I saw your expression when I wore it to your house on Halloween. For trick-or-treating. You looked like an unsupervised kid in a candy store with their mom's credit card. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, I visited you for trick-or-treating several times that night. Of course, I didn't want you to know I was the same person coming back time after time. You'd think I was a creep, or worse, a candy addict. <laughs> so I wore a different costume each time I visited, and I tried to change my voice a little. My favorite was the Batman costume. Just because it gave me an excuse to use a voice I hadn't used before. You know, the, I'm Batman. Ow! <coughs> I 
I haven't practiced in a while. Oh, do you see that trash can? I know, I'm so weird pointing out a trash can, but bear with me. This is important. That was where you threw out the wrapper of your favorite candy bar. After you left, I obviously retrieved it. I still have it in my collection at home. Ever since I found out it was your favorite, I always keep several of them in my purse for you, just in case. I'm not really a fan of them, but hey, to each their own. You can have your own interests and tastes. Except in women. <laughs> your taste in women has to be me. No exceptions. Oh, look, it's the cafe! Remember when we had our first lunch together? Well, I kind of thought of it as a date. I know we never said the word, but I could feel the vibe. Okay, maybe it was just a lunch. But still, I put a lot of effort into this. I had to do a lot of scouting of various restaurants before I could recommend a place for our little outing. I wasn't worried about the food so much as I was worried about the staff because, well, you know why. I didn't want any waitresses getting the wrong idea about you just because you're polite to them. It's nice that you're polite to waitresses, but still, I needed a place that just happened to have only male waitstaff. Maybe I should have worried more about whether the food was going to be good or not, but to be honest, any meal is good when it's had with you. I'd rather eat stale bread with you than a savory steak alone. And besides, you ended up really liking the food here. Right? We go back all the time. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's not all for nostalgia. <laughs> I still remember that date. I mean, that lunch. I still remember that lunch so fondly. You asked me what my favorite song was, and I said Number One Crush by Garbage. I think it's rather poetic, seeing as how the song fits our relationship so well. Of course, you might have been shocked if you'd been familiar with the lyrics, but you weren't, so it's fine. <laughs> it was a good date. I mean, lunch. Remember we played Truth or Dare? I already knew everything about you, even that early in our relationship, so I only asked you for dares. I hate to admit it, but I really exploited the situation, daring you to do things like holding my hand or giving me a hug. <laughs> I'm sorry for corrupting your pure heart and mind. Of course, you mainly asked me for truths, remember? You were so shocked. You asked me if I could save your life at the expense of not saving a million others, would I do it? And I looked you dead in the eye and said yes. <laughs> My expression was so serious and deadpan. I think that's the very first moment you thought... You know, I think she might be a yandere. Oh, if only you knew the half of it. Hey, look, this is where I bought the dress, remember? You were absolutely drooling at that dress when you saw it window shopping. Your mouth was like Niagara Falls. You stared at it for a good 15 minutes. I think people were starting to give you weird looks. Which honestly kind of irritated me because I hate it when others look at you. But I was just stalking you at the time, so I didn't want to make a scene. But anyway, obviously you weren't going to buy it for yourself, so you passed. But later, when you saw it on me, oh, when you saw it on me, your jaw dropped. Of course, part of that was because I had just come down your chimney to give you your wire-tapped Christmas present. But I like to think it was mostly how good I looked in the dress. Thanks for not pressing charges, by the way. That's the best Christmas gift a girl could ever ask for. Other than a marriage certificate. Standing offer. Oh, wow. Just, wow. This is where we had our first proper date, remember? You even said the word date. When we laid down under the moon and stars and just looked up at them? Well, you looked up at them. I tried. I really did. I wanted to make it a good date after all, but your gravity exerted a much stronger pull than the moon's. <laughs> I think I only saw the stars as a reflection in your eyes. 
Would you like to do that again sometime? Look up at the stars here? Just like old times? <laughs> okay. It's a date. Just don't give them too much attention. <laughs> you know how jealous I can get.